the power, the chance to end the chaos, to turn the page, and to rebuild Britain. getting absolutely nowhere. Chaos and division, feeding chaos and division. And that has a cost, a human cost. In Milton Keynes, I met Will, who was a fireman. And he has a simple dream, not an unreasonable dream. He wants to own his own home. He's got two extra jobs on top of being a fireman, but he still can't afford it because the chaos and division of this government has robbed him of that dream. That is the price that he is paying. In Alderhay Hospital, which is a brilliant children's hospital up in Liverpool, I went to the heart transplant ward. It was incredible. But more children aged between six and 10 are admitted to Alderhay Hospital, this brilliant children's hospital, to have their teeth taken out because they are rotten than for any other operation. That is unforgivable. They're paying a very heavy price for this government. Now, when I was growing up, my dad was a toolmaker and worked in a factory. And my mum was a nurse. And they struggled. They struggled financially and they struggled particularly with my mum's health. And sometimes we couldn't pay the bills. But they had a comfort a belief, a confidence that the country would be better for their children, that things would be better for the next generation. And that kept them going. It comforted them, as it did so many other people. But can we still say that we got that confidence in the future of our country after 14 years of this chaos and decline? I don't think so. For a government to leave after 14 years, our country, with living standards worse than when they started, is absolutely unforgivable. And what is their plan, Rishi Sunak's plan? 46 billion pounds of unfunded tax cuts. They haven't learned a thing. And if they get five more years, they will carry on in the same way. Nothing will change. So a vote for Labour, is a vote to stop the chaos. But here's the good news, because you don't have to put up with this. You do not have to put up with this. The power of the vote means that you can vote Labour to turn the page, to make the change that this country so desperately, desperately needs. And change is hard. I changed the public service when I was running it. We changed the Labour Party to put it back in the service of working people. All we ask now, humbly, is the opportunity to change our country and put it back in the service of working people. And with that change, we can rebuild our country, take our country forward, so that in five years, ten years, we can say, this is a better country. We've progressed for you, your family, for your community. We've set out our missions for government, that driving sense of purpose that will take us through the difficulties, the difficult decisions to improve our country for everybody, wherever they live and wherever they come from. And we've set out our first step starting with a stable economy. And we've set them out in our card that we launched last week. A stable economy, fiscal rules to ensure that we can keep inflation and prices and mortgages low. Tough rules, but for a reason. Because if you lose control of the economy, it's working people who pay the price. And Liz Truss lost control of the economy and working people pay and are paying the price. I went to Wolverhampton a week after this trust crashed the economy with that mini budget. And I met a family who had a child aged three. And they planned to have a further child. They'd had their plan, they'd found a new home where they could have their family. They got a provisional mortgage offer 
that they could afford. This trust crashed the economy. Their mortgage offer went through the roof and they couldn't afford it. They had to cancel their home, stay where they were, and take a much more profound decision, which is not to have a second child. And they will live with that decision for the rest of their life. That is the price that they are paying for the mess that this government has made of our economy. So stable economy is the first. An NHS back on its feet with 40,000 appointments and operations each and every week under a Labour government to get that waiting list down. There isn't anybody watching or listening to this who isn't themselves on a waiting list or doesn't know someone who's on a waiting list. We set out our first step to take back control of our borders with a border security command that can smash the gangs that are running the vile trade of putting people in small boats across the channel. And we will go on also to establish great British energy, owned by the taxpayer, making money for the taxpayer, and keeping your bills low. We'll deal with antisocial behaviour, which blights the lives of so many people in their high streets and their communities. And don't tell me it's some sort of low-level crime. It is not. It affects people absolutely materially. And we will recruit 6,500 new teachers for our schools so that every child has the education that they need and they deserve. I was the first in my family and my generation to go to university. I know the power of knowledge. But in my constituency, there's Somerstown. We have children in Somerstown, a very deprived area, who look out at the back of King's Cross and see corporations moving in there, Google, The Guardian. They look out, but they can't imagine themselves ever making that journey from their school to those jobs. It's a few hundred yards. I want every child, wherever they come from, whatever their background, to have and realize and think that success is for them. And we will fight for that every single day under a Labour government to make sure that this country is fit for the future of our children. So this election is about a choice. Two different countries, two different futures. Decline and chaos continuing under the Tories or rebuilding our country under Labour. The power of the vote is with you. If you want change, you have to vote for it. And if you vote Labour, it's a vote to stop the chaos. It's a vote to turn the page. And it's a vote to rebuild our country together. Thank you very much.